And now we're going to learn Sanhedrin and again review some of what we discussed on Daf Ayin Aleph Omid Beis. And we spoke about Rabbi Hanina. Rabbi Hanina is talking about a case of a Benoach Shabirech Es Hashem Gaya. As a Benoach, for that Avera, he would have been punished with Saif, as he is with all Zion Mrs. Bnei Noach. But as the Israel after Gerus, he bechayv skila. And Rabbi Chanina says, "Hol v'nishtana dino, v'nishtana misaso, poter." So as a guy, we would have judged him with Dayan Echad, with Eid Echad, with Ara Hasra. After Gerus, for the Aver Birch Hashem, we would judge him in front of a court of 23 judges based on the testimony of two witnesses and with Asra. Also, his Misa has changed. As a Ben Noach, Shabir Hashem, he gets Sayyid. And after his Geir, his Misa becomes, as a Megad, becomes Skila. Now, why can't we give him Sayyid? So the answer is, is as a Yisrael, there is no punishment of Saif for Birkas Hashem. There's only Skila. So we cannot, we cannot condemn him for Skila. Oh, so, so why not condemn him for Skila? And the answer is because the Aver itself was implemented when he was a guy and generated a Chiyuv of Saif, not a chiyuv of skila. So again, we can't judge him now for Saif because we said as the Yisrael, there's no such thing as a chiyuv Saif for Birkas Hashem. There's only skila. We can't judge him for skila because when he committed this Avera, he was not high of skila. And the Gemara wants to support Rabbi Hanina with our Mishnah here about the case of Barach. When this young boy, after having Shtei Saros, he was Zolel the Sove, and he... What did he say? Oh. <laughs> I, I didn't get the joke, Stephen. No. <laughs> I didn't realize I wasn't on mute, and, I, and oh, Eric had oh, just sneezed. Oh, I see, I see. Okay. That's the thing about Zoom, you know, they, you can reveal all the secrets of the world, you know. <laughs> anyway, so again, after he committed the Avera, he perpetrated the crime of Zolva Sove, then he ran away before they were able to be Gomer Sadin. And by the time they got a hold of him, he was Hikiv Zokan Atachton. And the Mishnah says he's part of. In other words, we can't condemn him to death now for the Avera that he perpetrated before he was Barach. And my time allowed me shum to Amrina Hovishtani Ishtani. Because if he would be Zolvis Salveit today, after Hikif Azakan, he would be part of. So just like Rabbi Hanina says that the guy who is Mavarach Hashem, now he's a ger, we cannot condemn him to the death of Saif because as a ger, he would not be chayv Saif. So too, we cannot condemn the Ben Mora to Skila because today, when we get a hold of him, if he would have per perpetrated the same exact crime, 
he would not be chayv skilitz after he kifaz zaka. The Gemara says, "Lo, there's no proof at all from the Mishnah ben Tzoramora to Rabbi Chanina. Shani hacha. The reason why we go that far and we completely exempt him in this case is because he ovid hashtalah bar he wouldn't be chayav misa if he did it now. In the case of Menoch Shabir Hashem, even after Gerus, he would be chayav misa for being Mavarek Hashem. So let's be mechayav misa skila of now, or at least misa sayif of then. Why should it be part of the So let's take a look at Rashi Dibra Masal Shiny. Shiny Hacha de Ilu Ovid Hashta, Labrak Tolu Aval Hacha, Ilu Ovid Hashta. But here in the case of a guy who is Mavarchas Hashem, Ilu Ovid Hashta, if he would do it now after Geris, Bark Tolu. The Afal Gav the Nishtana Dino Misa Solo Miftar. Or now look at the now, these are the last four words of Rashi. Just one second, I had a pencil here. All right. This is something that we should underline here. Oh, here it is. Vidainina le bedina dahashta. So I think these four words of Rashi might help us a lot. When we get to our Tosis Diva Maskal Kala Bechamura. But Rashi is saying that if we would argue against Rab Khanina, then we would give him the punishment of Hashta. You see that word Hashta in Rashi. Right? Yesh Makam Lachaiva Bemisa Skila. Okay, so that, that's an important Rashi. Now, if Yoda doesn't like this Rashi, as quoted here in the Mesifta, that's number Yudalim, he says, what kind of habamina would there be to put this guy to death for, with skila based on his din now of hashta when he perpetrated the crime as a guy? And Rabbi Yona pins it on the fact that he didn't get a hasra. He certainly didn't get, get hasra for skila, that's for sure. So this Rashi is very difficult, he says. Also, there's another thing that's very strange over here that's going on. I think maybe, maybe he means this here. I don't know. He doesn't spell it out. But in the case of our Mishnah, there's a very logical reason why he's Potter. Because we have to condemn him today, and today he'd be Potter. 
that doesn't seem to support the very, very radical or far-reaching conclusion of Rabbi Hanina and his psaq that the guy who's Mavarach Hashem is Gair is Potter. If he had perpetrated the crime today after his Gairus, he would be Chayv Skila. That's not at all comparable to the case of a Ben Sora Morer, where we get hold of him after he was Hikif Hazakar, and at that point, had he perpetrated the crime, he'd be taught to completely. Rav Hanin is going a major step beyond that. If Rabbi Hanina would have said, let's look at him as he is today, then the final psak would have been that he's chayev skila, which is exactly what Rashi says, with Dainile Bidina Dahashta. So that the Ben Soru Morer when we get hold of him, we catch up with him, and he's Dina Dahashta, therefore he's Potter. And Rabbi Hanina says, no, we can't judge him Dina Dahashta because he perpetrated the crime when he was a guy. How did the Gemara entertain the idea that this Mishnah would support Rabbi Hanina's conclusion? You want to tell me that according to the Mishnah, we would judge him Vidina Dahashta, and therefore he's part of, in the case of Mensara Mora. That's one thing. But to say that we can't, as Rabbi Kanita would say, we can't even deal with this guy who's Misgayer Vidina Dahashta, because Hol Vishtere Ishtere, and therefore he's part of, whether he was guilty of Birchas Hashem as a guy or Birchas Hashem as a Yisrael as he is today in front of the courts, he would be Chayv Misa. You might have a toss up which Chayv Misa do we impose upon him, the original Chayv Misa as a guy or the Chayv Misa as he is today, meaning Saif or Skila. But Rav Hanina goes one step further and he says he's part of, where do you see that in Ben Soramor? Ben Soramor is part of because we're going to be judging him Ben Dina Dahashta. And the Dina Dahashta now, he's past the age of Ben Soramor. And Rashi's saying that the phantom by Pluto of Rav Hanina would have said that they needed Ben Dina Dahashta. And that the Goy who's Mavarach is Hashem, and now he's Miskaya, we should put him to death with Skila. Which again, Rabbi Yonah has a lot of problems with that. He didn't have Asra for Skila. But be that as it may, that's what it comes out over here. According to Rashi, that we did, we judge him with Dina Dahashta. And if we apply that to Ben Mora, we understand why Ben Mora is part of But according to Rabbi Hanina, we're going to say that we're not even Dainina and Kidadina Dahashta. And because there are two different Misa, one Misa that he would have incurred had we condemned him as a Ben Noach and another as a Ben Yisrael, if he's part of. Wait a second. There is one major point. I'm not sure if this will answer the question, but I'm thinking out loud. There's one major point here which we could support Rabbi Hanina from Ben Soramora. That is that we cannot implement the Misa that he would have been condemned with that Misa at the time that he perpetrated the crime. That I can prove from Ben Soramor. Because if, again, this is not going to fit with Rashi necessarily, 
But if we go back to the Shas Havera, right? What, what, what term do we call it? Um, we, we had a term for it, I think. We, uh, okay, whatever it was. Um, I, I don't remember what we called it, but, but let's call it Dina de Meikara, which means Dina de Shas Avera, if we could do such a thing. And maybe that's what the Bar Plukta of Rabbi Hanita would argue. Let's go back to the original moment of the crime and now condemn him for that crime and punish him in the way he would have been punished for that crime. And we see that we don't do so in Ben Sorimor. And that supports Rabbi Hanina, who says that we cannot judge this ger for the Mis of Saif because we cannot judge him or condemn him, I should say, with the Misa of today for that which he did, for, for that Misa that he would have been condemned with from the time of the implementation of the Avera HaMachayevus. So the Gemara Nahab Amina thought that why don't we put the Ben Soromora to death with Skila based on the moment of his Avera, and today we'll condemn him to death. The answer is Ishtani. He's now Hikif Esazokan. And that should support Rab Hanina. Why can't we put this Ben uh, Benar to death even after Geras? For the Birkas Hashem with a, a Misa of Sayyid? And the answer is because Ishtani, because today his din has changed. And that principle we see in Ben Sorumo. But again, that's not like Rash. Okay, now we get to the Brisa of a Ben Noach who killed someone and then he was Miskayer, or a Ben Noach that had a relationship with an, an Asia Sisha married woman and then he was Miskayer. Toshma ben Noach shehikas chavero. Ubal eshes chavero v'nis gaya. Potur. Also can be Israel in this guy when his guy here. So Gamar raises the following question. Vikosha Amai Vamai according to Rabbi Khanina. Why is he Chayev? Name a whole Vishtani Ishtani. Ah, now, if a guy kills the Israel, then he's high of sight. And if a Jew kills the Israel, he's high of sight. So the Gemara is going to say here that although it's Tani Dina, but that's not enough. You need a Tani Dina. Umisa. The high Dino Ishtani, but Misasa Lo Ishtani. He's kind of the same Saif, no matter what. And that's what the Gemara says in the next line. Bishleim wrote, "Seach me kara saif a hashta saif." So 
So let's just think for a second. True, he's Chayef Saif, no matter what. And therefore, Rabbi Hanina's principle does not apply. But I'm just curious, is he Chayef Saif because of Me'ikara or is he Chayef Saif because of Hashta? Again, I don't have enough Gemina, but I just, in, in, in the abstract world, so I'm thinking that the reason why we can't put him to death in the case of Mavarech Hashem, the original case of Rab Hanina, for the crime that he committed as a guy, is because today he behaves skill. He can't be chayv skilu today because when he perpetrated the crime, he would be chayv sayif. But we can't give him sayif because today he would not be chayv sayif. But in the case of meikara sayif, ahashta sayif, so are we giving him? Misa I don't know I, I don't have a clear answer but my my intuition tells me I don't know if you agree with me that we're condemning him as a as as a Ben not that's when he perpetrated the crime I don't know. That seems to me the logical way that we could, we should go back to the Meikara. Which is really problematic because the Gemara is going to tell us that according to Reb Khanina, in the case of Anara Murasa Shenis Bagra, we're going to give our Chenek as a Bogaris. We can't give a skewer. So we're going to judge her as if what? Ah, maybe it means we're always going back to Meikara. Uh, we're going back to Meikara. Even though, again, it's Chenek, but the Meikara included Chenek within it. So we're going back to the Shah Hamachayeves. And here also, when he kills, when he kills a Jew, we can go back to the original Misa, which is what? The original Misa is Saif. Ah, you'll tell me, but now we couldn't judge him for Saif. But no, if he did it today, he'd get Saif as well. So this is where I want to pick it up, Bolinetta, tomorrow. But again, let's let's see if my thesis is uh, it'll really hold out. That basically, according to Rebbe Hanina, we should give them the Misa de Meikara. 
There's a technical reason that we can't do so because we can't implement the judgment today for that particular MISA. If we could implement the judgment today for that particular MISA, then we don't have this technical barrier and we go back to the original Misa Machayev, the Avera Machayev is Beshaita, and we'll give him the Misa as it was then Beshaita. Okay, then. So that's what we have for today. And I'm hoping that, uh, you know, things are going to start fitting into place if we go with this sheet of Mehashta. I'm sorry, of Mehkar, I meant to say. Okay, then. So we'll check that out, Polineta, tomorrow. And uh, now, if you want to join me, we'll have a, a share in the Sefer Mitzvah.